Hey loves, welcome back to I'm Lovely Day, where basically I use making videos for you as a great excuse to buy things for me. But today we aren't buying anything. Nope, this video isn't about shopping or trying on or anything like that at all. Well, sort of. Today we are actually learning how to conceal carry as a woman. That's right. So many of us actually do already carry, but a lot of women still like to carry with like a handbag. Um, not my first choice at all because I find it to be less secure and it's one more thing you actually have to worry about securing rather than being able to quickly access it in order to protect yourself. We'll get to that later. Anyway, so as women, we dress in so many different ways. Sometimes clothes are hugging us in one place and loose in others. Sometimes things are short, sometimes things are revealing, but we wear so many different types of clothes and what I learned when I asked the um, the trainer who helped me with getting my concealed carry permit, when I asked him for additional training, because of course, if I'm going to carry, I need to be safe. I need to know how to use this thing like it's second nature. I need to know how to draw. I need to know how to reholster it. I need all the details. Anyways, so when I asked him what kind of holster I should get, he was like, you're a woman. You're going to need several types of holsters. And before that moment, I hadn't thought about it. Like I said, growing up as a kid, if a woman wasn't a police officer and she was carrying a gun, generally it was in some sort of a handbag from what I remember. Um, so anyways, I was on Instagram and I saw a Tig from my sister's keeper. She was wearing these Dean Adams carry shorts and I thought, oh my God, one more way to carry and keep it completely concealed. And I just thought, I gotta show my loves. <laughs> I figure all of you might need some examples of how you can carry concealed without having to do a handbag, you know, or, you know, con con continuously or continuously using, you know, just a regular appendix holster or something like that. So I just wanted to kind of give you a couple of quick examples. Okay. So, um, before I jump into showing you what I have, I want you to know that you do not need to be afraid of this video. Do not be turned off by the idea of a woman protecting herself. But I'll be completely honest with you, since I've had this injury in my back and my leg is often hurting, if I'm by myself and I get out of the car, even for a quick trip, I have to kind of like stand and gather myself because I have some pain that goes up and down my right side. And sometimes when I'm standing there, I'm thinking to myself, let me look around and see who's watching me who might think that I'm vulnerable. And I just realized that a lot of times us ladies can be vulnerable. And so we need to be prepared to protect ourselves and you have every single right to do so. All right. So again, don't be scared of this video. It will be fun. I don't want to catch anybody off guard, but it is what it is, okay? And we're going to be very, very safe. So what I am carrying is a Smith & Wesson m and shield. This is a nine millimeter version. It is completely unloaded. There is no cartridge in there. And then if I show you the magazine, it is also empty, okay? So there is no ammo in this room whatsoever no ammo in this room we are being completely safe okay so that's what we're carrying and this is what i'm going to be trying to conceal i do also have a second magazine which is shorter so this is a seven mag and then this one here is eight plus two so this one is ten so concealing sometimes i will have to go with the seven just for the sake of you know being able to kind of hide things okay all right so, all right, so um, before I go any further, you already know I need you all to give me the thumbs up. I do it for the love, I do it for the likes. Give me the thumbs up. Please feel free to get ask me questions. Leave me comments down below. I'm more than open to discussing it. Let me know how you feel about women carrying. Do you carry yourself? What do you carry? All that sort of things. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. It's a little word, red subscribe right there. You can ring the little bell and then that way you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you haven't subscribed to my reality TV review channel, it's Day Spills Tea or yeah, it's Day Spills Tea, <laughs> then go ahead and do that as well. We have a lot of fun over there, mostly dragging a lot of the housewives. No, we keep it cute. We're not too bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs>
Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Beautiful Machine Magazine, bringing you the latest in fashion, entertainment, and tech. So, I have here four different types of holsters, and so I'm gonna show you a few different outfits and how to use these holsters, okay? Um, and basically how to make sure that your weapon is completely concealed as you're, you know, getting dressed for the day. And the, having the four different types kind of opens up a really wide range of what you can actually wear and still carry concealed without having to do that off body carry, meaning carrying it in a handbag or something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first most common one I have here is basically an appendix holster um, or really a belt holster. So this one has this little clip here if you can see that and that's basically this little loop lip here is going to wrap around your belt so you have to be wearing a belt for this one um and then the weapon sits right down into it this here is very hard and so this is basically where the trigger goes and so once the weapon is inserted in there you don't have to worry about anything mistakenly pulling the trigger and making your gun go bang so this one again you can wear it in the front you can wear it in the back you can wear it on the side wherever it is that you uh decide to carry it where it can loop onto your belt okay now this one here is made by a company that's woman owned called flashbang this one is specific to women this one if you could guess, drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think it is. I'm going to give you like three seconds. Where do you think this goes? Your bra! <laughs> so this one basically goes around, grows around your bra. And so it allows you to insert the weapon in. You would insert the weapon in this side. Again, you've got that nice hard trigger guard. So you can insert your weapon in and then you would draw down from up under your shirt. And again, I'm gonna show you this in a few outfits so you can see exactly what it looks like and how it's completely concealed. So this one is a flashbang, basically a bra holster specifically for women. Unless, you know, some man is wearing a man's seer, I suppose he could rock with that too. <laughs> and then we have here is a belly band. And a belly band basically does exactly what you think. It goes around your belly. And so this one, let's see here. So the weapon goes in here and then you have this little button strap, which this is not a good version of it. I got this one off like Amazon. I really need a much, much better one because this button, this snap is very, very loose. Anyway, so the weapon goes in here. Um, this basically is your retention strap here that keeps the, the weapon in place. And then this isn't as hard as the carbon fiber, but it is, there is like a plastic sewn into here to make it so that you would not be able to get a finger or anything else in there to pull the trigger accidentally and make the gun go off. And then you have additional slots so you can put an extra magazine here, your pepper spray, what have you. Um, same thing over here. You have some additional pockets. You can put pepper spray, magazine, tourniquet, whatever it is that you need um, going about your day for your particular everyday carry. Okay, so that's the belly band. The last holster type that we're gonna look at is the Dean Adams carry shorts. So they look like little biker shorts, but you will notice that there is a little pocket in between the thighs. And there is a Velcro retention strap inside that kind of keeps your weapon in place. And then you have also an additional pocket on the side where you could put your pepper spray or an additional magazine. Anyways, that's just giving you an idea of what they are. Don't be laughing at how big my shorts is. I know I'm thick. Anyways, so that's the holsters we're gonna be using. Let's go ahead and jump into seeing them in action. So if you know me at all, you know that I am a leggings girl. I love to be in leggings. And of course you don't wear a belt with leggings. So the traditional belt holder like this is simply not gonna work for me, right? Um, so as much as I like to wear leggings, I don't really want anything to show. I don't really wanna wear a belt. Then I have to do something like this here, belly band. So this is a belly band. And this is what I would wear if I were wearing an outfit like this, which this is a typical outfit for me where I can have my weapon, my pepper spray, an extra magazine, and I'm good to go. So I can pull that down and I'm pretty good. Like it's, you know, looking at me, people are generally not looking at you wondering, is she carrying and where's her weapon? So first of all, they're not really looking for it, but someone looking at me walking by, you know, 
<laughs> they're not looking and thinking oh my god is she carrying something under her shirt but in fact i am and so i can pull this out and i'm good to go and being that it's a belly band if i need to reholster i can easily put it right back in there so if something were to happen you're in a bad position you need to come out and if you need to assist someone, you need to be able to put this away, which you don't want to put it down on the ground. So having a place that you can tuck it right back into where it's safe from anyone else is ideal. Okay. Now, so I just showed you the belly band and in the belly band, I was able to carry my firearm. I was able to carry some pepper spray and an extra magazine. But I do have to be more mindful about how I move because with wearing so much, it could actually be seen if I'm doing too much moving around or if I'm just not really paying attention or anything like that. So I do still need to be able to carry and not have to worry about if it's going to be seen. And so luckily I have these <laughs> and they provide great cover. So right now I'm actually wearing the flashbang holster, which doesn't give me room to carry additional items, but it does offer a much better concealment wearing this shirt. So basically she's sitting right here and you can't see that. I can turn it to the side. Still can't see her. Can't see it, <laughs> but it's definitely here. And if I needed it, I would draw down and I'm ready to go. Okay. And you know, it's, it's like such a great way of being able to wear just about anything as long as you can quickly get your shirt up. So it's like really, really true concealment. If I needed her, I'm in a bad situation. I'm just gonna pull down and I'm good to go. Good to go, right? I would typically wear to work and I think it's very very feminine and everything and I could actually honestly do the flashbang bra holster here the belly band or I could do the belt holster so and either way I'm covered I mean the print of the top definitely helps add to the concealment but it's really not required as long as I'm creating some sort of a space for the weapon to hide so again it would just be a matter of removing my shirt and then I can draw up and that's where we are with that so anything that has a belt you could use this appendix carry um or this this belt holster um the really nice thing about this kind of holster is again it has that hard plastic to where the trigger cannot be pulled by mistake in any way but again if there were an emergency situation and you needed to be able to reholster your gun in order to maybe apply a tourniquet or attend to someone in some sort of way this is a very very easy way to reholster your your weapon and put it right back in and it's you know once again no one has ability to just grab it and it's you know you're being safe and responsible so And then last but not least are the carry shorts by Dean Adams, which they go so nicely under so many dresses. So here I'm wearing a maxi dress. <laughs> and so it's a nice flowing, kind of sheer maxi dress, but the shorts are still very, very well concealed. And if I needed to, then I know that I need to kind of pull my dress up. I need to do a little bit of a squat. And I got her. 
So like you can really, really, really conceal in just about anything. So these don't have like the hard carbon fiber, but they do have a really thick plastic insert in here. If you can hear that, and that will keep you from having an accidental trigger pull. So it's important when you are going to carry that you have really thought about the clothing that you're going to wear and how you're going to actually remove your concealment and access your firearm. So like I said, in this one, I know that I have two slits on the side of this dress like this. So I have this little piece here. So I will be removing this and then I know I got to get down and I can get it. So I'm wearing a nice feminine elegant little gown my little mexi dress it's very very pretty but i still know that if i need to protect myself i absolutely can that's it i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you learned something i hope maybe you got inspired if you're not currently protecting yourself then maybe you will give it some more thought but if you do decide that you're going to start carrying please 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 seek the help of a professional make sure you get some training make sure that you are completely familiar with whatever firearm you choose make sure that you're very very comfortable with using it and that you absolutely know the laws in the area that you're in and that you absolutely are prepared to not use it okay like we don't want to just be you know out here in these streets bugging out okay because <laughs> that's not cute anyways thanks so much for watching i do hope you'll leave some comments down below let me know your thoughts if you have other suggestions on video ideas regarding clothes and fashion and shopping and shoes and whatnot and so forth please let me know that because i am open to trying things and having a lot of fun thanks so much for watching bye